Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to President Qais Saied on winning the Tunisian elections and his re-election for a second term. His Majesty wished the President all success in the next phase to achieve the aspirations of the brotherly Tunisian people to its further progress and prosperity and wished the strong fraternal relations between the two countries for the development in light of the strategic partnership that unites them. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Saleh Al Sarah, the first Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives Abdel Nabi Salman, as well as deputies of both councils, where they presented to His Majesty the annual report of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the second session of the sixth legislative term. His Majesty thanked the Chairman of the Shura Council and the Speaker of the Representatives Council for their sincere efforts in serving Bahrain and its people. His Majesty affirmed that the two councils are vital constitutional institutions that consolidate the pillars of political and democratic work and unite efforts to achieve development. He praised the achievements of the second session, highlighting the legislative authority's effective support for civilizational and comprehensive development, as well as its oversight and legislative roles developing a system of laws and legislations that serve the country and fulfill the aspirations of citizens with efficiency and competence. He thanked them for their efforts in the legislative work, emphasizing the success of the democratic and parliamentary process thanks to their collaboration. His Majesty appreciated the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, recognizing their commitment to unify national efforts in addressing current issues and planning for future progress for Bahrain and its people. He praised the contributions of the people of Bahrain to the country's development, highlighting their competence, sincerity, harmony, and welcoming nature. He noted that these qualities distinguish the people of Bahrain among nations. He said that Bahrain consistently seeks peace, stability, and prosperity for all societies. His Majesty affirmed its commitment to further promoting a message of peace and reconciliation among peoples in the Arab, Islamic and global communities based on its belief that peace is the fundamental pillar for national and social advancement. The chairman of the Shura Council and the first deputy speaker of the Council of Representatives expressed their gratitude to His Majesty for his unwavering support and generous patronage of the legislative authority. They noted that his support has led to significant democratic and parliamentary achievements contributing to the kingdom's development at all levels. The annual report from the Shura Council following the second session of the sixth legislative term includes several key components. It features an introduction along with a speech by the chairman of the Shura Council and presents statistics on the council's achievements during the second session. The report discusses the activities of the term and a detailed discussion of His Majesty's royal speech at the opening ceremony and it previews or reviews the proceedings of the council's first procedural session including the election procedures for the two deputies of the councils as well as outlining the council's response to the royal speech. The report also highlighted the mandate, composition and achievements of the council during the term. The annual report issued or by the General Secretariat of the Council of Representatives reflects the coordinated efforts of parliamentary work in fulfilling its legislative and oversight functions. It also highlights the performance of diplomatic and political roles, community outreach initiatives and media engagement programs alongside the administrative and research support provided to legislators from October 8, 2023 to May 8, 2024. Additionally, the report outlined the speech of the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Musalam, that emphasized key indicators of parliamentary performance, focusing on both substantive and procedural aspects, followed by the composition of the Council according to the distribution of various governments and constituencies.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's President Qais Saied on the occasion of his re-election for a second presidential term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with France's Ambassador to Bahrain, Eric Giraud-Tel, at Goudaïber Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed the strength of the long-standing ties between the two countries, emphasizing the importance of further developing their relations at all levels to achieve mutual aspirations. He highlighted Bahrain's commitment to enhancing multi-sectoral collaboration and strengthening bilateral partnerships for the benefit of all. During the meeting, regional and international developments were also discussed and for his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, acknowledging His Royal Highness' commitment to advancing bilateral relations. He also extended his best wishes for Bahrain's continued progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended this meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman and Managing Director of Lulu Group International, Yusuf Ali, at Kudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness said that the retail sector is a key component of the national economy and plays a vital role in supporting Bahrain's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He reaffirmed the Kingdom's commitment to creating opportunities for the economic sectors to further contribute to its development. He noted the private sector's prominent role in creating quality job opportunities for Bahraini citizens. And for his part, the chairman of the Lulu Group expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness' commitment to supporting the retail sector and enhancing its role in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended this meeting too. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 50 for this year, appointing a director at the Ministry of Interior based on a proposal by the Minister of Ex Interior. The edict stipulates that Major Zain Abdullah Isa Al Shomali shall be appointed as director at the Ministry of Interior. The Minister of Interior shall assign the appointed director to one of the vacant directorate at the Ministry in accordance with each directorate's duties and responsibilities and the qualifications and experience required for the position. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 51 for this year, appointing a director at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications based on a proposal of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications. The edict stipulates that Mohammed Jassim Abdurrahim Al Hamadi shall be appointed as Director of the Communications and Marketing at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. His Royal Highness issued Edict 52, designating the Administrative Authority and the Minister responsible for associations, clubs and private institutions engaged in journalistic, media or advertising activities based on the proposal of the Minister of Information and with the approval of the Cabinet. The edict designated the Ministry of Information and the Minister of Information as the responsible administrative authority and minister for associations, clubs and private institutions engaged in journalistic, media or advertising activities as per the law on associations, social and cultural clubs and private bodies working in the field of youth and sports issued by Decree Law 21 of 1989. The Ministry of Information and its minister shall exercise the speciality specified in the law. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the chairman of the Lulu Group, Yusuf Ali. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's economic sector is moving steadily towards further development thanks to the visions of His Majesty the King and the prominent role of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister by enhancing the investment environment and encouraging attracting investments in the Kingdom. He praised the multiple contributions made by Lulu Group through commercial projects and its role in the commercial, economic and investment sectors, praising the expansion witnessed by Lulu Group inside and outside the Kingdom. 
for his part, the chairman of the Lulu Group thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his interest in supporting the retail sector and developing the national economy. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, chairman of the Babco Energy, the integrated energy group leading the transformation of the energy sector in Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received outgoing oil reservoir lands advisor at Babco Exploration and Production, Farouk Al Khatib, after 71 years of service in the oil and gas sector. His Highness praised the role played by Mr. Al Khatib in keeping pace with the developments and successes during his career in oil and gas companies, praising his competence, dedication and commitment as one of the prominent national cadres who served for seven consecutive decades. His Highness explained that honouring and appreciating those who have given and served for a long time comes in line with the firm approach and insightful vision of His Majesty the King and the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister in appreciating national figures who have served in various sectors and contributed to building the modern state. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a celebration at the Muharraq municipality to mark Bahrain's 100th anniversary on the first municipal council elections. His Highness highlighted that the Kingdom's achievements have been attained due to its comprehensive development, led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness. Turning to the 100th anniversary of the first municipal council elections, His Highness highlighted that Bahrain has made exemplary progress in municipal work. He acknowledged the significant role that municipal efforts have played in advancing the country's infrastructure, which is vital for supporting its dynamic economic and investment projects that provide quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens. He concluded by extending his gratitude to all municipal members for their unwavering efforts and contributions that benefit all. He further wished them success in their service to Bahrain's communities. And for his part, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael Mubarak, highlighted that Bahrain's municipal achievements were attained through the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness. He extended his gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman for attending this ceremony. El Mubarak noted that the kingdom's 100-year municipal history has become a model and a platform to be emulated globally. He concluded by outlining the importance of municipalities in fostering community development and providing quality services to Bahrain citizens and residents. Several senior officials also attended this celebration. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Musalam, met with the Speaker of the Saudi Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Al Sheikh in Riyadh, to discuss enhancing cooperation between their legislative bodies. Al Musalam emphasized the strong bilateral relations developed under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. He highlighted the importance of continued collaboration to further strengthen unity and serve mutual interest, aiming to leverage their fraternal ties for better parliamentary coordination. He also noted Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in promoting regional security and stability, describing Bahraini-Saudi relations as a model of cooperation. Al Musalam noted the significance of parliamentary meetings in reinforcing ties between the two nations, aligning with the efforts of the Saudi-Bahraini Coordination Council. Dr. Al Al-Sheikh said that Bahraini-Saudi relations exemplify a unique partnership 
uh, that bolstering parliamentary cooperation would further strengthening the bonds between their peoples. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, held the Council's meeting where the Council commended the generous initiative of His Majesty the King to honor national achievements in local and international Quran competitions, international races, and honoring outstanding students from various educational levels. In light of the developments in the region, the Council valued His Majesty's calls to protect lives, stop all forms of escalation, and work to spare the region the consequences of further crises that threaten its stability. The Council praised the contents of Bahrain's speech delivered on behalf of His Majesty the King by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister during the 79th session of the UNGA. The Council praised the wise calls and firm priorities contained in that speech, the most important of which are the protection of innocent lives, the upholding of human dignity, and consolidating pluralism and cultural diversity. The Prime Minister's office announced the list of 15 successful candidates for the 10th intake of the Prime Minister Fellowship Programme. Registration for the 10th edition of the programme took place between July 9th and August 9th of 2024 and witnessed more than 2,500 applicants from various government agencies. The candidates selected following a rigorous evaluation process are as follows. Ahmed Adi Ahmed, the Ministry of Interior, Hussein Mohammed Al Ghasra, National Audit Office, Khaled Salman Al Sheikh, Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Khaled Mohammed Al Mansour, Ministry of Works, Rashid Aad Al Kamal, Central Bank of Bahrain, Zahra Salman, Primary Health Care Centers, Salah Zayed Salah, Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Sayyid Abdullah Hassan Qaruni, Supreme Council for Environment, Abdullah Ataf Al Khaja, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Alia Hassan Al Jib, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Fahad Faisal Al Majid, Ministry of Interior, Mohammed Maki Al Aswad, Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Narjas Khalil Ghuloum, Supreme Council for Environment, Yara Talal Al Mutawa, Economic Development Board, Yasmin uh, Ali Shakar, Electricity and Water Authority. On this occasion, the Director General of the Prime Minister's Office, Ahmed Yaqub Al Mahmid, said that the Prime Minister Fellowship Program reflects Bahrain's commitment to investing in its national workforce and engaging them in its comprehensive development. He said that this initiative enhances government performance and service delivery in line with the far reaching vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Al Mahmid congratulated those who have been accepted and wished them success during their one year secondment. He also commended previous fellows, highlighting the outcomes of the program over the past 10 years. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sara Boheji, participated in a panel discussion uh, titled Collaborative Strategies for a Balanced Season at the 29th edition of Roots World. During the session, the CEO underscored the importance of fostering sustainable tourism and tackling the challenges posed by tourism seasonality and called for initiatives to diversify tourism offerings and organizing engaging events during off-peak seasons. She stressed the importance of collaborating with partners to promote year-round events and destinations through innovating marketing campaigns. She also affirmed that regional collaboration enhances unified strategies for attracting tourists, with GCC countries serving as a leading model in this area. She highlighted the crucial role of domestic tourism in bolstering the local economy and raising awareness of national products and destinations. Roots World 24 concluded after the wide participation of more than 2,300 of the most prominent global figures in the aviation sector from all over the world. This event is a valuable opportunity to exchange knowledge and expertise in the field of aviation, which contributes to the comprehensive development of the sector.
The non-oil sector in Bahrain continues to make developmental achievements as a result of the efforts to enhance economic diversification. These results come in light of the Comprehensive Development March, which brought about tangible economic development in the national economy. We have more in this report. Following the indicators published by the Ministry of Finance and National Economy as part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's quarterly economic report for the second quarter of 2024, it is clear that the Kingdom's economic sector is on the rise, especially since Bahrain's economy today is diversified, balanced and sustainable. According to the latest report for the second quarter of 2024, the GDP grew by 1.3% at constant prices on an annualized basis, supported by 2.8% growth in non-oil activities. The report highlighted the performance of economic activities as non-oil activities contributed to driving growth levels with its contribution to GDP at constant prices reaching 85.2% during the second quarter of 2024. In the past few years, many goals have been implemented ahead of schedule within the Economic Recovery Plan and the priorities of the government's work program, which indicates the efficiency and quality of implementation. Among the sectors that witness significant development are the financial projects sector, tourism and trade, in addition to real estate activities and business services, which witness economic growth and development to be one of the most important tributaries of the non-oil economy. This strong recovery comes in conjunction with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to begin consultations to formulate Bahrain's Economic Vision 2050, which reflects the depth of the benefit achieved from the plan and its role in accelerating the pace of economic recovery in the Kingdom, most notably those non-oil sectors whose indicators continue to rise. Bahrain is keen to continue initiatives aimed at providing the best health services to citizens and residents in order to achieve universal health coverage. The National Ambulance Project reflects the levels of development achieved by the various service sectors in Bahrain as the project is based on the latest international standards.